Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on one to thousand number strip. Because many of the learners had asked about numbers one to thousand strip, so I decided to solve a related question about this strip and how we can solve problems related to number strip. The strip which is displayed here is an example of number one to thousand strip. Here we have 10 columns in which we have numbers one to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30 and so on. So let me show you the number strip from one to thousand. This is how the strip is and this is the thousand part of it. And we are going to solve few questions which are taken from the Cambridge primary workbook and also learner's book. And I will explain how you can solve such type of questions. So when we have a problem like uh, the one here, if we have part of a number strip, most commonly it is written like this. They give the number, let's say 135 here. And one of the followers had asked what it means by 10 more or 10 less. I will explain here using a highlighter. So we have to find 135 in the number strip, which is out here. 135 is here. And we have to look to the numbers, to the left of it, to the right of it, above it, and below it. And the number above it is 125, and 125 is 10 less than 135 because it is in the row before the row of 135. So the number that comes above 135 is 125, 125. Let me use the pen here. I can write 125. And it is 10 less than 135. And the reason why it's 10 less is because it is in the row before the row of 135. And the number below 135 is 145, which is 10 more than 135. And the reason why it is 10 more than 135 is that in the sequence of numbers, as we start from 131 to 140. In the next row that comes, we have 141, 142, 43, 44, and 45, which is under 135, and it is 10 more than 135. So uh, we can write here, it is 145. And when we look to the left of 135, we have 135. 34. 134 is one number before 135. So to the left we have 134. And to the right of it we have 136, which is one more than 135 according to the sequence of numbers. If we count from 131, then we have 32, 33, 34, 35. So according to the sequence, the number that comes after 135 is 136. This is how we can solve the problems related to number strips for 1 to 1000. And we have another problem over here which is taken from the Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 3. And we will solve the problem related to this question here. We have 384 in the center, 384 in the center. In the number strip, we have to look for 384. So let's find 384, let me scroll down. We have 387, 86, 85. 384 is here. So 384, which we have in the center of the part of the number strip, in the center of the part of number strip, is here in the strip. So now we have to look to the number above it, the number below it, the number to the left of it, and the number to the right of it, then we can solve the problem. We can see that the number to the left of 384 is 
383 and it is because of the sequence of number that we have so 383 comes here 384 we have in the center and to the right we have 385 385 and above 384 we have 10 less than 384 you can now see the number strip you see that the number which is right above 384 is 374 374 and it is because this is how the strip is formed how the strip is formed which is having 10 columns and the number below 384 is 394 it means here in the rows we have in the rows we have each tens and this one belongs to 70s belongs to 70s this one belongs to 80s and this one belongs to 90s so here so here in the 70s we have 71 72 up to 79 in the 80s we have 81 82 83 84 up to 89 and also in the 90s we have 91 92 93 94 up to 99 so to solve the second one we will go down let's scroll down and do it step by step in this problem we have part of the number strip and we see that we have 500 here we have 500 over here so in the strip we have to look for 500 once we find the 500 we can easily find the other answers so in the strip the 500 one is here this is 500 and we have to look for the numbers under 500 two numbers under 500 and we go on step by step so the number under 500 is 500 10. so let me write 510 here and under 510 we have 520 so 500 uh, let me use the pen so 520 will be written here and now we look to the left of 520 to the left of 520 we have to write three numbers we have 519, 518, and 517. So 519 is here, 518 is here, and 517 is here. And now we look above 517 for another two numbers. For another two numbers. It means we look two places above 517. The first one is 507 and the one above 507 is 497. 497, so we can write 507 and 497. Now you understood why the number above is 10 less and the number below is 10 more because we started the strip we started the strip from 1 to 10 11 to 20 each time in each row the number which is under is 10 more than the number before 10 more than the number before well uh, this one is also solved so to solve this which is having 899 we have to go down we solved 384 here now we go to 765 for 765 we have to now find out where 765 and the number strip is so let me scroll a bit down we can see that 765 is here 765 is here so the number 765 that we have over here we have to find the number to the left of it and also to the right of it so the number to the right of 765 is 766 and the number to the left of 765 is 764 so we can write to the left we have 764 and to the right 
766. And now that we are done with 765, we have to look below and above 764. Let me highlight them. We have 754, 744. So we can write above 764, we can write 754. And above 754, we have 744, which is 10 less than 754. And 754 is 10 less than 764. And again, now we have to look down under 764. We have 774 and 784. So let's write down them also. 774 and 784. Now we understand why it is 10 more and the one above is 10 less. Let's now look to 766. Uh, I'm going to highlight them. Above 766, we have 756 and 746. Let's write them. We have 756 and 746. And below 700, and below 766, we have 776 and 786. So let's write them down also, 776 and 786. We are done with this also, and we found out that the numbers below 766 is more 10 more than 766, and the number above 766 is 10 less than 766, which is based on the strip creation or the strip formation. Well, we are done with this. Let's go to the next question. In this question, we have 899. We are done with this part. We are done with the one which is having 500. Now we are looking for 899. So to solve this problem, we have to find 899 in the strip. If we look closely, we can see that 899 is here because we have the missing number to the right of it, to the left of it. We have to look what numbers they are. To the right of 899, we have 900. And to the left of it, we have 898. So let's write them down. To the left, we have 898. And to the right, we have 900. Now we can find the numbers above 898 and below 898. Let's first highlight them. So the number above 898, we have 888 and 878. And below it, we have 908 and 918. We can write them down here in the part of the strip. So we have 888. 878 and below it we have 908 and 980. Let's now look to 900 and find the number above it and below it. 900 is here and the number above it is 890 and above 890 we have 880. The same way we have 910 below 900 and 920 below 910. Let's write them down. So above 900, we have 890 and 880. And below it, we have 910 and 920. This is how we can use number strip to solve the problems related to the parts of number strip which is commonly given in the books. I hope it makes sense for you and it helps you understand how you can solve problems related to the parts of a number strip. And if you still have any questions related to the number strip, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you are new, please make sure to subscribe to my channel like the video and share the video with your friends, your classmates, 
and your students if you're a teacher. Have a nice time and thank you so much.